KFOX 14 has obtained new video that shows the aftermath of a deadly police shooting. KFOX 14 News at 9's Ariana Para combed through hours of that video. She joins us now live from Las Cruces with what it reveals. Well, Robert Liz, right behind me is the area that 45 year old Teresa Gomez was shot and killed by an eight year veteran with the Las Cruces Police Department. Now, when this was first announced, Las Cruces Police released nine minutes of body camera video. Today, KFOX 14 obtained hours and hours of graphic video that shows what happened after that point. Stop! Stop! Shots fired, shots fired. This is the body cam video Las Cruces Police provided during a news conference back in October. Only then, this is where the video ended. The body cam video we've had shows Gomez backing out and driving away while Officer Felipe Hernandez was standing next to her car. That's when shots were fired, killing 45 year old Teresa Gomez. Get out! She almost hit me with the car! After the shots ring out, the newly obtained video of Hernandez's body cam shows him running towards the car. Get out, son, give me medical assistance. Get out! Pleading with Gomez. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. This all started when Officer Hernandez told Gomez she was trespassing in the area October 3rd. As more officers arrive on scene, this new footage shows he was removed from the area and he briefly mentions what happened prior to the shooting. Our door, so to back up and yeah. The new video then showing officers escorting Hernandez back to the station. It's good to shot off his camera, right? Where it appears they gather all of his equipment for evidence review. We were able to obtain the video you just saw because we originally put in a public records request to see the interrogation of Officer Hernandez following that shooting death. Now, while we did not receive that video specifically, we will be filing for it again. Meantime, Officer Hernandez is facing a second degree murder charge and we'll be sure to bring you updates once we receive more information on that case. Reporting in Las Cruces, Ariana Parra, KFOX 14 News at 9.